What is going on, obscure mic people? Bark, coming back at you with yet another microphone video for you of the obscure variety. And today, I have a vintage Samson, Samson, wait, they don't do that, S11 handheld dynamic microphone, no bells, no whistles, no switches, nothing like that. We're going to make sure we don't have any processing on because I'm a dumbass that does that sometimes and we don't have it on. Great. Fantastic. What a great evening. S11 from Samson vintage. Like I said, no bells or switches. I'll show it to you. It's a Samson. Just a regular old Samson. About as generic of a look as you can get. Let me show you the capsule. There's the capsule for you. Very normal. Very normal. So I got this microphone off Reverb. I think I offered someone 25 bucks for it, basically. It was on there for like 30 or so, and I thought, that's a, that's a rare microphone. So I, I've been asked to check it out, and I've never gotten my hands on it because some places I found it for 50 bucks. I was like, man, it looks so samey and normal. I don't know if I want to spend $50 on this thing. Uh, so, you know, I didn't, I just didn't, uh, but after getting it for the low price of around $25, I didn't do anything with it. I haven't hooked it up. I haven't played with it. I haven't done anything with this microphone at all until now, until just this moment, until today. And I gotta say for 25 bucks, maybe I think something's wrong folks, because I haven't hated a microphone on this channel for a minute. I haven't, you know, been overly just enthusiastic about any either, but this sounds good. Like this, this sounds really good. I sold it already. Like I always do because this channel doesn't make any money. Feel free to donate at the link below or watch a whole bunch of videos in a row so I get some ad revenue, you know, just feel free to shower me with hundred dollar bills. I, I mean, I'm living fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I only eat Raymond noodles six times a week. It's all fine. It's fine. Fuck. Fine. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I mean, life is really good. Honestly, life's good, but microphones, they're expensive. They hurt the wallet. It happens. It's cool. But $25 didn't hurt me on this one. Selling it for $25 is hurting me now because I really kind of dig the sound of this thing. Nice and clear coming through. Nice low end. Uh, the mids aren't offensive at all. Like this is uh, surprising. Shit. I was expect I was expecting nothing. And again, this isn't a world beater. It doesn't sound like a $500 microphone. It's the point of, I paid very little and I kind of like the way it sounds on my voice because it's just got a nice, solid quality sound. Kind of wish I'd have kept it. It's one of those tricky microphones that you pull out and someone's like, what's he going to do with that thing? Make something cool. Create something. I kind of like this microphone. Let's throw it, as if you didn't know that already, let's throw it through the riggers. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickle pineapple pizza. That's average plosive rejection. Not terrible. Not great. Average, in my opinion. When you get right on top of the Samson S11, this is what it sounds like. When you're right on top of the Samson S11, this is what it sounds like. Maybe I should have known that this was half decent. I mean, I hate to say that anything that comes in a case is going to be decent, but it did come in this case. And this is the original case, as you can see by the S 11 sticker there on it. Uh, it also came with a clip and that is an old school looking clip too. It's all squared off and stuff. That's a, that's a funky one, but I probably should have known that this was a uh, somewhat half decent by it coming in a nice hard plastic case, not a softy like the, uh, that's what she said. Like the Behringer mics. Not like that. I should have known that I could turn this mic off axis rejection. 90 degrees. That's pretty good. 180 degrees. 
that's pretty good. 90 degrees. That's pretty good. Back around to the front of the microphone. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. What the hell? I'm going to have to find this mic again and, and keep it as like a sleeper. Am I just losing my mind? It, or does it really sound good? I think it sounds good. I think it sounds real good. Let's throw it around in the hands. Get some handling noise on it. Handling noise is there, but it doesn't sound like a cheap microphone passing back and forth between my hands. It just sounds like a microphone. Average handling noise. But that sound is quality. Very surprised by this. Anyways, not a lot going on. Again, no bells and switches. Let's throw some processing on it and get you folks out of here and back to your Game of Thrones or your Golden Girls or whatever the shit it is you're watching tonight. Let's do it. All right. We've got compression, de -er, big bottom on this microphone. Compression, de -er, big bottom. I almost want to transplant this capsule into something. I almost like it better unprocessed, but I say that and then I listen to the video and I'm like, well, you know, hey, you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't, hard to tell sometimes. You get it on different sound sources and you get different things out of it. Let's turn that processing back off. Now the processing is back off and it just sounds good, man. If you can find the Samson S 11 and you're a singer or you're a podcaster or even voiceover, maybe, I mean, this, this thing is not bad at all. And I 25 bucks, man. Why did I sell it? Why did I do that before listening to it or testing it out? Or again, Raymond noodles, ramen, Raymond, which is a correct post it below Southern Ohio, man. I say all kinds of weird shit. Anyways, this mic, the Samson S11 is out. Bark is out. Let me know what you thought of this. Maybe it's just been too damn long since I did a mic video and I'm just too excited about doing a mic video. Obscure mics. Thank you guys for supporting me. I appreciate it every step of the way. Peace out.